Khan from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Good morning. The reader responses to our last update has been incredible, and we've decided to answer your questions on our YouTube channel. Today's question comes from Tame in Sacramento, California. Tame writes, My husband and I love to travel, but cost is a big deterrent. How do you do it so you can travel for years and stay at posh hotels? We know about the miles and points, but these run out so fast. What can we do to make this dream happen? I like your question, Tane, and while there's a lot behind the answer, today we want to share with you a few things that will help you put yourselves on the path to making this dream a reality. It sounds like you're familiar with the miles and points, so travel hacking is a concept that you're well on your way with. There's actually two more things that you'll need to hack in order to get closer to making this dream possible. And those two things are you need to hack your money and your mindset. So let's start first with the money. You want to start by sitting down with your husband and talking about what countries you want to visit on your big trip. Ideally, they'll all be located in the same general region because that will make it cost effective to hop from one country to the next. As soon as you have this information, the next thing you want to do is get on Google and start to do some research. You want to research what the on-the-ground travel costs are for each of those countries that you plan to visit. Think accommodations, transportation, food, and of course activities. Once you have that, it'll give you a good idea of what it'll cost for, from week to week as you make your way through your travel itinerary. What you want to do is paint a good picture of what a weekly travel expense report will look like. And then you want to correlate this with the total length of time that you plan to travel. With these two pieces of information, you'll be able to plot out what your travel budget is going to look like, and then you'll be able to, you'll be able to have a number to work towards as you build your budget to make your dream trip possible. So once you have that number in mind, now you want to start allocating every dollar of your discretionary income towards funding that travel budget. The more non-essential activities and expenses that you can defer now towards that budget, the faster you'll be able to get to the point where you can start launching yourself on your dream trip. Now, that last part tends to be a challenge for most people. Which brings us to the second thing that you need to hack, and that is your mindset. You're, when, you're, uh, when you're thinking about traveling and taking, going on this big trip, you should sit down with your husband and ask yourselves, why is this dream trip important to you? And furthermore, you should also reflect on how committed you will both be to actually making it happen. Knowing the answer to this why will help guide you as you work towards building yourselves towards the goal. Because in your day-to-day -day life leading up to it, there will be a lot of distractions. And if you keep following your why, you'll get there without a doubt. The next thing you want to check on is your travel mindset. You mentioned traveling for a few years and staying at posh hotels. Well, I can share with you that Josephine and I can count on one hand the number of times we've stayed at a posh hotel in the last few years. The reality is that unless you're independently wealthy or have loads of disposable income, traveling for a few years while staying in hotels is going to be nearly impossible. Consider inexpensive homestays, guest houses, and hostels. Traditional vacations entail flying to your destination and then renting a car to get around once you arrive. This is extremely efficient, yet it is very costly. Traveling for a few years, you will want to check your comfort level with taking some alternative means of transportation. Imagine buses, trains, ferry boats, or even the occasional tractors or horse carts can be extremely cost effective. And finally, if you're going to travel for a few years, in all likelihood, you will be deferring opportunities for future advancement, both in your incomes and in your careers. 
you're going to want to sit down and check on your comfort level with making that type of sacrifice in order to make this trip a reality. And the upside is your dreams turn into reality and the experience will be priceless. Thank you so much, Tame, for your excellent question and many thanks to all of you for watching. And please keep the questions coming. We're happy to help. That's right. We love to answer your questions. So if you have more, please let us know in the comments below. Bye now. Open your eyes and know you're free to come alive. You gotta live it while you can. We only get one life.